I am going to do a trade right now and we are going to do United States Steel so if we look at it right here let's look at the strikes you have two days expiration and then you have earnings that's what that E means so that could be a good thing or a bad thing right now this stock is at an all time low so I'm thinking it can only go but so much further so it might be an opportunity to make a quick 100, 150 bucks. So let's look at the 9 day expiration, which is this one here. And if you look at the $9 strike price, which is about a dollar away, it's at 15 cents. Is the bid and the ask is 17. So anywhere in the middle, you should be able to get this. And this little bar right here, the brown bar that goes right up to the 9. Is what they call the uh, expected move they expect it to move that much so I'm gonna just highlight this here go to more and make this 10 10 contracts and with a mid price of let's say 16 review so here are the parameters of the trade I put a limit purchase order of a contract for 16 I get a credit of $160 commission is about 10 bucks and I should receive in my account $140.53 this is going to reduce my buying power from two th by $2,351 and the max loss here is $8,840 that's if the stock goes to zero which I don't think it will the max profit is $160. Let's submit the order. The order has been placed. And it says, that's it. Trade's on. How long did that take? Less than a minute. I just took a minute that I would usually check something online or make a phone call and just did this. So we are done. Thank you. We'll see what happens later. Welcome back, it's Caesar, Legacy Options. I wanted to do a video today. I'm actually in uh, Cali, Colombia, in a river called Rio Panse. Beautiful, beautiful place. I'm real low. I'm at here. But I said I was going to do a video every week. Caesar Espejo with Legacy Options. And today I wanted to discuss two things. Uh, my trade of the week, which I did before I left, Last week, Friday, I traded, and I'm, I'm going to show it before, before this video, I, I'm going to show that trade. I sold United States Steel, I sold the $9 put for one week, and got paid, I, I believe it was 17 cents. So, 17 cents, it was trading at around 10. The reason I sold it at 9, I sold the put at 9, and got paid 17 cents. I sold 10 contracts, that's about $180 for one week in one trade. I wanted to put a trade on that is accessible to anybody who wants to trade. I sold them naked. I sold 10 contracts and got paid, like I said, 17 cents. 10 contracts, $100, $170, minus commission, $160 some dollars, okay? So that's what I received for it. United States Steel at nine was because the all-time low for X, which is the symbol for United States Steel, is $8.87. That's the all-time low. So, if it was trading at 10, if I sold the 9 put, the odds are, the probabilities are that it will not continue to go down that far. However, it's trading today. Luckily, I my, my option expired worth it at $9.07. So, if it got assigned to me, I wouldn't be that worried because it's, it's probably not going to go down much much further but we never know in fact we'll be watching and i'll keep you posted on what exactly that option has been doing over the last uh over the next week or so but i'm trying to put a video up every week and obviously i'm away on business it doesn't look like business but it is saturday so you know we try to enjoy where we're at this is uh, beautiful cali columbia 
So we're enjoying the, the scenery here. The, you know, they got beautiful nature and it's a beautiful country, great weather, great people, great food. Really, really enjoy it here. And uh, I usually get to come here once in a while, at least once a year. So I'm, I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to at least get to make this video and, uh, and give you an idea of what VIX does. The so VIX is a very important tool that we must understand. And when it spikes, this is what kind of happens. If the VIX gets up to the 20 points range right now and all of uh, anybody who, who trades the way I trade is going to have a lot of cash ready to go. When the VIX trades over 20, the premium we receive is going to be really, really good. That's when we're making real money. So the fact that the market's choppy right now is a good thing for us. And we're looking forward to being able to put trades on in the coming weeks. So let's see how the market opens on Monday. Hopefully there's some, some volatility and we get to get some good premium for some good trades. This is, besides that trade, I also did another trade on Disney. Disney was trading at about 145 and when the market started going down, I sold the 130 put. But I sold it when the VIX was still low. It was a little bit elevated, but you know, since everything's been going up, you don't know when the opportunity is gonna pop up. So I sold it at, VIX was about 13, 14, it was around there, and I sold the 130 put, and I actually uh, bought the 125 put. And I received about $230, I sold four, uh, four contracts. However, when the VIX spiked, the same position that I sold and received 200 bucks, I could have got 400. And this is why when the VIX is low, you want to trade as least as possible and be patient and don't let FOMO, fear of missing out, get the best of you. Because at that point, that's what happened to me. I, I kind of, I said, you know what, let me just start nibbling. And even though I believe that position is going to be profitable, I only did a short two week uh, two week put, I realized that I'm gonna be profitable, most likely. However, I could've got 400, I could've got double what I received. In fact, during the market downturn, or you know, it went down 40 points or something like that. During that market down point, strong companies like Disney will do better, so it actually strengthened. So just so you understand what I'm talking about, the stock went up from where I sold the put, and yet my position, is showing, showing uh, a loss about, of about 120 bucks, but it's really not a loss. It's just that the premium has increased because volatility increased, and thus it makes it seem like if I wanted to get out of the position today, that I would have to take a loss for, you know, a hundred some dollars, but I won't. In fact, the position's gotten stronger in my favor. Why? Because it was trading at 135 when I sold it, but I sold the put at 130, and now it went up to 138. So companies that are strong like Disney usually rise when the market not sure about what's gonna happen. Just to give you an example. All right. Water's freezing by the way, but I'm gonna get in it because it's about 30 degrees in Jersey. <laughs> so let's enjoy the weather while we can. It's about, I don't know, 75 degrees here, 80 degrees, beautiful weather. These are legacy options. Health, wealth, and love. We'll see how cold this water is. I wanted to add something to this video after I finished making it. I realized I see these guys with these, these, these like poles made out of bamboo, which kind of grows in the back here. And I realized there's opportunity everywhere because at no point did I think there was fish in this river. You don't see them, you don't know where they're at. However, they're catching fish in there. So, like in anything else, in options, there's opportunities always. There's always a way to make a profit. And uh, I just thought it was kind of coincidental that this guy's back here, and I'm like, there's no fish in here. There's no. Sure enough, he pulls out a fish. So, let's pull out some fish from this market and make some money, <laughs> okay? Peace.